Yes, sir. So, have you ever been driving down the highway and see that real just mint looking car, you know, that <laughs> 1969 All American Muscle? Real mint, man, it make your heart melt, make your eyes pop, break your neck. <laughs> so, uh, these are some metal, these are some machinery that we have come to love and obsess over. May not be as great as you think of. You'll learn to love and respect all the new aspects and technology here made in modern cars. I own a 1977 short bed pickup that has come to be the death of me. <laughs> um, it's really only meant to be driving as an antique. I said that wrong, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> uh, and driving this truck every day for a year, I bought a cheap vehicle, a little Honda Coupe. Don't mind me, I look kind of weird in it. <laughs> um, I bought it to take the place of my gas guzzling truck for my long trips to Lexington and back. And let me tell you all, I learned to appreciate modern vehicles. For example, uh, technology advancements. Let's talk about that God love an AC. <laughs> so, uh, I'll give you all an example here. So, my say you and your boyfriend are here in college. <laughs> you get to see each other very little, and finally you get this like family event going on during Christmas. And he picks you up in this old vehicle of his, looking real good, and you all want to show up in style. Well, it's a hot summer day. And on your right there, you're sweating more than a pig in line for the drop house. <laughs> and so to help you out, he tells you to crank roll that window down on your right. <laughs> Now, not only is your makeup messed up, but the hair you spent, you know, two hours curling in the bathroom, <laughs> it's all frizzy. So you show up to the party looking like something wild happened, and then it's just, it's not right. <laughs> I ain't got to explain to the whole party that it's just, oh, I don't know, Mama. I got hot, the car's not real good. <laughs> Where's the AC? We don't got AC, it's a 60 year old car. <laughs> well, let's also talk about where'd I go? This is why you make your text bigger. Heated <laughs> <laughs> um, seats. <laughs> Nobody likes to go into a car on a cold morning and sit on a nice cold piece of leather. <laughs> All right. Our God love an ox cord. <laughs> they don't play country music on the country radio no more. You don't want to listen to that sad stuff so you can plug in the ox and choose your own music. It's great. We love it. Talk about, uh, what's that thing? You know that little button in the car that's got squiggly lines behind it? It's called traction control. <laughs> <laughs> that helps out a lot. Just last weekend, uh, what was it? We played Dammel? Yeah, it was raining, right? So coming out of here, uh, me, Dylan, and Xavier, you know, all the Richmond kids out here went, that went here once in their lifetime. We decided to uh, squall tires and yell yee yee. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was angry with his dad, the dumbass in the parking lot down yonder. And uh, me and Dylan were uh, tearing it up on the way out of here. Well, I don't know if your AC works in here, but uh, I'll give you a pretty rocking AC because I'm about to put a hole in the school. <laughs> <laughs> so I come around this turn here. You know, I was at full sand here, guys. I'm mean, full sand. Well, I took my truck sideways, and I got this thing called loose steering, so when I start whipping it, kind of like yes, because, you know, it don't turn too well. It went completely around, and I jumped back curb about 20 mile an hour, whipped it back around this way, fishtail it, and I somehow made it alive. <laughs> All right, let's talk about safety. Autoplace.com speaks on how windshields have become safe. You don't mean driving down the road there and have a... Uh, Pebble from a gravel road there, smacking the forehead because the glass can't take it. <laughs> There's improved uh, clarity. It's three times as strong and shatterproof. Some believe that Henry Ford had a wreck or accident that resulted in his uh, windshield at the time shattering. So he decided to make a stronger windshield. That's probably pretty smart. Uh, so for those, oh well, slack off. Where's it? Maintenance, constantly needing to be worked on. These old vehicles are not reliable. In working on my old truck, I have replaced the steering column three times, rewired my entire truck, my distributor cable fried on one of my exhausts, uh, 
So it kind of backfired sometimes and it sounded a little bit like Uncle Buck's car. <laughs> my cool fried restricted my truck from starting, so that needed to be replaced, so that was fun. I just kind of stopped running in the middle of the highway. Oh, <laughs> uh, dry rotting tires. I did not check for this. Uh, it kind of blew up on the interstate, <laughs> sent me down the road bumping and crapping. And, uh, so I whipped it across three lanes of traffic, pulled her to a stop, and another car came up stop. So uh, let's say the end of the story resulted in me having to explain to a cop that he purposely hit my tire. <laughs> uh, they're loud, which is cool in the sense that, you know, everybody hangs out there at the Walmart parking lot so everybody can hear your gee when you stomp on that there <laughs> right hell. But it's not fun in the sense that you can't go off to that party everybody's going to at night. You ain't getting out of one. My transfer case needed to be replaced. And here recently, after having my little escapade, you know, sending it out there, uh, my door latch popped off and fell into the bottom of my door so I can't reach it. So now I've got to crank roll my window down and open it from the outside to get out of my truck. I look like a fool. The only thing I've had to do to my God forsaken short, hard to get into Honda is change the oil. It's not bad. Modern engines are more efficient. Burning fuel, gasoline, isn't particularly efficient. Of all potential energy uh, used in fuel, only 14 to 30 percent of it is used when actually moving the car. The rest is idling, uh, parasitic losses, heat, and friction. Uh, they've moved a long way since uh, antique engines. They replaced the carburetor with fuel injections. And that gives it about 1% improvement, which you know, is not that great, but hey, more gas, right? Uh, turbochargers use exhaust to power the turbine that pushes an extra uh, oxygen into the cylinders to further increase efficiency, 5 to 8%. So now you got 9% better gas mileage. Um, basically, to put that into simpler perspectives here for y'all, it's uh, when you push that little thingy on the right there, and the stuff you pump into the vehicle there at the stations, yeah, it makes it go room, but in a smarter way, so you ain't got to fill up too much. I've owned an antique vehicle for a daily driver for a year, and a modern vehicle for six days. Before I wrecked that one into a tree, and then bought another one, uh, I personally say that I enjoy driving a modern vehicle 